It's been a while since we last dived into the lowly waifu territory, and I don't think it's going to be the last. I don't want to get into trouble with YouTube, they want to monetize my vi- Oh wait, the channel is too small for me to monetize my content. <laughs> anyway, let's get on with today's topic, which is full of holes. Traptrex debuted in Judgment of the Light back in August 2013, but it wasn't until May 2014 when Primal Origin was released that the engine actually took off and it got its place in the meta mostly during the infamous hat format. The deck was wildly successful, especially in the 2014 World Championship, when it took the second place. After that event, the format started getting much more combo-oriented and much faster, therefore trap tricks were power crept off the meta. The engine's build is rather straightforward, with triple trap tricks Normalio, double trap tricks Dionea, one trap tricks Rafflesia, and one trap tricks Serra, and of course a number of whole normal traps. With this, it's possible to search the trap holes, set them on the field, or use them directly from the deck, giving the player flexibility when dealing with the opponent. The engine has very good stunning abilities due to the flexibility of the whole traps. It also does easy pluses, which transform to consistency boosting of the deck. The ability to make rank 4 or link to plays thanks to Dianya also cannot go unnoticed. Not to mention the easy access to a Link 1 monster, and of course, all monsters are the lowly waifus. When it comes to the cons of the engine, it's very slow due to its reliance on trap cards, and also the fact that each play uses up the normal summon. Also, all monsters are the lowly waifus, you perv. The engine is very splashable, so it can be used on pretty much anything, at least in theory, since it's more stun focused, using it in a combo oriented deck is counterproductive. Using it in an anti meta deck or for one reason or another, maybe Altergeists is the best pick I can come up with. 